All right, lads. Here we go with today's video. Yes, how about that? A civilized intro. That's never something that happens that was something that you find on the Camry Builds channel. Hopefully, you guys are all having a fantastic day. Let's get into it. Today, we're doing a Dallas Mavericks 82-0 challenge. Because last time, we did a 76ers one, which... Uh, there's a thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> we did a 76ers one, and it did seem to do all right. I did do it with my mate, Caleb. Um, you guys do want to see more of him, but he's busy. You know, he's got a life as well. He can't be in every single video. I appreciate all your support on that one. But let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, go down there, subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing. We're trying to hit 4,000 subscribers, and we could use your help. If you're interested in my league, and you're interested in the rebuilds, 82 and 0 challenges, any challenges, rebuilds, my league content, go down there, subscribe. I post two times a day, so if that's something that interests you, go down there, subscribe. Also, like it if you haven't already. Right, so the reason we're doing the Dallas Mavericks is um, because we have Luka Doncic. That's the reason we're doing this 100%. So Don Luca is listed as a point guard in 2K. Um, we might just keep him there for now, make him be our point guard for now, uh, because we might actually, uh, if we can't pick up anyone better than, say, Luca, then we'll probably keep him at the point. If not, I'll run him at the two. So straight off the bat, Pazingis, Tim Hardaway, my plans for this video. We don't have a whole lot of plans. <laughs> it's just going to stay say that. Uh, we don't have a whole bunch of ideas on what we can do, but I would like to potentially go after a very good young player so that we have a whole lot of cap going into next year's free agency and hopefully get Kawhi Leonard. So Tim Hardaway is on a one-year deal, same with James Johnson. However, we could trade them both. We, or we could just keep them because they're on one-year deals. They expire next year anyway. That should be fine. Dwight Powell, however, is on a three-year deal. I don't want that deal on the squad at all. We might actually potentially even be bad this year so that we can be good in a couple of years' time and our pick can be something. Do we even have our first-round pick? We do not. Our 2021 first, where is it? It's in New York. We're going to ask for that back, please, New York. You want Trey Burke for Reggie Bullock? I'll take it for our first round pick back because I already know how bad we're going to be next this year. So Josh Richardson, are you able to get us anybody of any particular value? We could get Mitchell Robinson, who is someone we could use in a trade at the trade deadline. Um, Dwight Powell, maybe we could pick up someone for, like, a, I don't know, someone that we could maybe, either a young bloke that we can use or someone we can maybe palm off at the trade deadline. Buddy Heald, maybe we could use. Like, right now, because Buddy Heald, uh, moving to the small forward, he does go up one overall, and then we could probably get ourselves someone else that we could maybe use. I did see Hassan Whiteside, who I am very tempted to just use. Straight up. I'm very, very tempted. You know why? Because Hassan, if I move him to the power forward, will get me a whole lot of value. Maxi Kleber for Bayalitsa. Bayalitsa's on an expiring deal, so we might actually hold on to him as well. Josh Green, the rookie that the Dallas Mavericks did just sign up. Big up Australia, you know, because he's from there. Josh Green's going down to the G League. Uh, Bayalitsa, I'm just making sure he does only have a one-year deal. Yes, he does. Beautiful. Uh, Luca, we could maybe send down to the G League. Because, <laughs> like I said, we're trying to be as bad as humanly possible. And we'll do the same to Mitchell Robinson to see if he progresses for us. Yeah, so we're trying to be bad, and I think this is the way to go to be as bad as possible. All of our big contracts, uh, Tim Hardaway's on a one-year deal, uh, one year for Boban, one year for James Johnson, one year for Bayalitsa, one year for Reggie Bullock. Yeah, just make sure no one has options there. Mitchell Robinson, we're good. Okay, we need to get rid of Willie Colley-Stein, Corey Joseph's contract. Ugh. Corey Joseph's contract. Ugh. Ugh, Doreen Finney-Smith's, and then we should be A-OK. -okay. So if we go over here, get rid of this Willie Colley-Stein contract for maybe a pick, that would be fantastic, or even someone that we could use that's on a one-year deal. Lou Dort. Lou Dort is someone we'll have locked up for three seasons, so I'll take on Lou Dort then. And then can we also do the same with Doreen Finney-Smith? Uh, could we pick up maybe some, a pick or someone we could use on a, that's going to develop for us? Anybody? No? We'll just take on Taj Gibson. He's only on a one-year deal. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Yeah, so we're just going to be as bad as possible. Hopefully, we do actually be really, really bad. 
Like, I really hope we're so bad that we get, like, a top five pick. That would be absolutely amazing. Proficiency. We got a four and a half star proficiency. Let's make that as bad as possible. Pace and space. Come on. Let's see how bad we are. We'll probably see you guys at the trade deadline, see if we can pick up a young bloke. All-star break here. And, yeah, I didn't expect any all-stars. Uh, maybe Chris, I was maybe expecting Chris Stapps Pazingas just to become an all-star starter all of a sudden. Uh, but, no. So, we are currently in selling mode. So, imagine if we... Uh, if we traded Luca, no, we're not getting rid of any, but we're not tr going getting anyone from the Pistons. Anybody, we could go after Kyle Anthony Towns. That team selling, we could pick up Cat. I think that's probably the best acquisition we could probably get. Or we could get a Lamelo Ball, who is someone we could probably use as well. Or even Donovan Mitchell or De'Aaron Fox. Those guys are all on selling teams. So I'm thinking go after LaMelo Ball and send him down to the G League. I think that might be one of the best options we've got right now. So we actually signed Mitchell Robinson and uh, Hassan Whiteside for this exact reason. Uh, so we could ch go after someone like this at the trade deadline. Uh, I would like to do that without giving up our current first round pick, which we cannot do. So that's handy dandy, isn't it? Uh, if we go down here, can we go like these two guys for like a first round pick, please? That would be great. Or not. That also works out for us, doesn't it? Sweet. With Mitchell Robinson and Hassan Whiteside just together work? No, it doesn't. All right, I'll chuck in our pick then, and our pick then. There we go. We've got Lamelo Ball. We're going to send him down to the G League here, and uh, well, well, apparently we can't do that just yet because we need to sign some more players. So we have enough players on our roster to allow for those G League players. So Lamelo, you're going down to the G League, my man. Um, if really I have to call someone up to, from the G League. If I release that guy to free agency, does that mean I can? No, okay. Uh, I think we've definitely made enough trades here. We might try and go after Donovan Mitchell as well. Um, we don't need a guard, but I mean, it could be handy to have Donovan Mitchell on our team also. So we'll take Donovan Mitchell. I will give you, uh, honestly, I'll give you Jalen Bronson and I'll also give you like, I don't know. I'll give you Lou Dor, I suppose. Yeah, no, we definitely don't have enough trade assets for Donovan Mitchell. So I'm sure they're still going to be selling at the end of the season. I'll see what we can do. We do have Luca now, so I'm not sure how good our team is actually going to be. So we went from winning 20 games to winning 36 games. <laughs> okay, sure. We still probably didn't make playoffs. That's fine by me. Wiseman wins Rookie of the Year. I don't mind because Lamelo we sent down to the G League halfway through the season. We definitely don't make playoffs, which is handy. What I want, that, well, what I would like to see, uh, Lamelo. I'm curious to see what his overall is now. 83, not bad. Luke is now a 96 at point guard, so that's very, very handy indeed. So Luca ended up putting up 36, 10, and 10 on half a season. Yeah, mate. Yeah, man. On what? 50, 40. 80 splits. That's not bad. Definitely not bad. Chris Stapps put up 20 and 10. So Chris Stapps, Luca, and Lamelo are probably the three people we're going to be keeping on this team. The Denver Nuggets do end up winning the chip with Jokic winning finals MVP. Good on him. Uh, where did we actually end up? Because I forgot to check where we finished so we could actually have, uh, you know, a decent uh, pick, maybe. No, nope, we ended up as the ninth seed. Shit. It's a three-way tie for the ninth seed as well. Really? Damn. But we move up to three in the draw. We have the we had the tenth best odds. All right, we had the tenth best odds. Yet we move up to three. That is so so handy, so freaking handy. Assistant GM uh, Abraham Navarro, uh, uh, Michael Williams. That's for sure. Trainer, we're going to go with Randy Martin, and I'm alright with our head coach being Rick Carlisle. I'm thinking we use this pick. We we have the third overall pick. Maybe we could pick up someone that's going to develop really, 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 really nicely for us. If not, I'll probably take Terrence Clark. Yeah, I'll take him and send him down the G League this first season, I suppose. I suppose that's what we're probably going to do. Dort, Joseph. Mm, no, I don't want to because I'm going to try and leave cap space for Kawhi Leonard if he would like to come on this team. So we do have enough cap space to offer Kawhi a deal on the Mavericks. And he does want to come to the Dallas Mavericks. So that's big. That's big, big time to get Kawhi. That's really going to help us out. Uh, so we have to renounce rights on literally just about everybody on our team to get Kawhi, but it's for Kawhi Leonard. He's going to help us win more games, and that's going to be really, really good for us. Uh, we have negative 20 million, and we can still bring back Tim Hardaway. That's going to be handy to come back. 
Anybody else randomly that we can bring back as well? Like maybe even a Boban? That'd be do good. We get Tim and Boban back, so that's going to be handy in trades. And, uh, I mean, we've got a little bit of cap, so we we'll might as well just give it to... Uh, to John Henson as well. One contract that is going to be really, really good to have on this team is going to be Christian Woods. So if I can find a way to mm, do that without giving up Josh Green, uh, that would be absolutely amazing. I'll give you Lou Dort instead of Josh Green, and then I'll quite happily give you that first round pick. There we go. We got ourselves Christian Wood, who's going to be a nice little backup power forward for us, or even starting if we need him too. So he's on a $13 million contract for two years. He's going to be real cheap for us. Um, it, the goal here is to just try and, find, try and find cheap contracts that we can use that are going to be very, very handy to have on this team, you know? Luca ends up going up six overalls. Chris Stapps goes up three. Christian Wood goes up four. Eight for LaMelo Ball. Precious goes up seven. Brandon Clark goes up four. One for Brunson. Six for Josh Green. Bruh. Bruh. Crazy value. Right, we got three training camps here. We're going to go to untapped potential for Christian Wood because I would like to see him hit as high of the potential as possible. Precious Achua, we might send him down to the G League this first season and then use him at a trade in the, at the trade deadline. And uh, Josh Green, we'll do the same there. We might be using him in a trade at the trade deadline. So psh, this is actually not that bad, you know. Like I said, we're probably going to be sending Precious Achua down the G League. Uh, we're also going to be sending uh, Terrence Clark down there as well. Uh, can we send another person down there? No, we cannot. Unless, can, maybe we can. Yes, we can. Okay, we can send three people down there. Beautiful. That's exactly what we like to see. So this season, we've got Alonzo. Not Alonzo, that's a Lamello. Luca, Kawhi, Christian Wood, and Pazingas starting five. We're going to do that. We'll move Pazingas back to the five. And then we've got Brandon Clark, Brunson, Tyus Jones, Shabazz Napier, and Grant Williams coming off of our bench. We'll go Luca, L Kawhi, and then I'll go Lamello. I'll go Lamello as our third scoring option. We've got a four, st four and a half star a balanced system. Three and a half star, actually, thinking about it. And the Mavericks are the projected one seed. Let's see how we do, and I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. So we actually have the two all-stars this year. We have Luka Doncic and Kawhi Leonard. So that's pretty dang awesome. While we're here, we'll have a look at who, what teams are selling and what team, what players we could potentially get. James Harden, we don't need because we have Luka Doncic. Uh, we just don't need James Harden. Unless we pick him up and then, no, we don't need James Harden. Uh, we could maybe even get Paul George, use him in a sign and trade. Trade for him and then trade for him away. Uh, we definitely don't need Donovan Mitchell. And I'm thinking go after PG or James Harden. I'm going to try James Harden just so we have that little bit of star power as well. So we have Luca, Kawhi, and Harden. So we probably move Luca back to the one. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see how we do. I don't know if we have enough contracts for that. Yeah, no, that's for sure. We definitely don't. Crap. I don't know if this trade will go through because we made a trade for Drew Holiday, which I don't know. Well, we just got James Harden. <laughs> That just happened. We just traded for James Harden. So now we have Luka, James, and Kawhi on the same team. Harden is uh, got a player option at the end of this year. Kawhi, we could probably use in another deal. Like, we, well, he has no trade val no trade clause, doesn't he? So if we go Wood, if we go Harden and Precious Achua, nothing comes up. What do we just get? What if we just traded nothing? All right. Cool. No one really. Bradley Beal, eh, we've just got James Harden. We definitely don't need another guard and PG. Like, eh. Yeah, we'll just sim the rest of the season. You want to know something? <laughs> we lost one entire game uh, after making that James Harden trade. So I think maybe getting James Harden was a good call. Uh, we went 69 and 13. Luca wins MVP. Don't really care too much. Jalen Green wins uh, Rookie of the Year. Good on you, but we win Coach of the Year. We should be able to just go straight through the the playoffs here and just we yeah, win the championship pretty easily. There, uh, we gave away our pick in here, didn't we? Oh no, we have the second pick via OKC. And uh, it goes down to five. Okay, and we also have the 14th pick, and that's all the Mavericks picks we have. So we also have, we have quite a few picks that we can use as trade bait probably, so that's going to be handy. Uh, so we give up the 5th and 14th picks, what come up that we could maybe use in a deal. Jonathan Isaac could be someone handy to come off of our bench. Sabonis also could be someone. Uh, I think I might go Jonathan Isaac here. Because we get a first round pick with that as well. So that's 
Got to be kind of handy there. So we don't have any picks. Harden has accepted. That's beautiful. Uh, I would have been very upset if he didn't. We just need to re-sign Luka Doncic now uh, to uh, max caliber deal. Thank you. We get ourselves Luka back. That's all we really wanted. We could also offer Jalen Brunson a deal, which is going to be handy also. So I think I've come to the conclusion we need ourselves a better... We, mean, we need ourselves a better starting center. We need one. We're coming into the last season. We have to go effort and say Carl Anthony Towns is our new starting five, I suppose. Yeah, all right. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go, I suppose. Three training camps. <laughs> oh, no. This isn't good at all. I don't I don't think this... I've, I've, I've done this too many times to think that this team this team's good enough to do anything, you know? Ah, uh, it's happened too many times. So, like, in real life, imagine if you had a team like this, you'd be set. And then if you had a bench with Lamelo, Christian Wood, Precious Achua, and Jonathan Isaac, you'd be set. However, right now, I am not 100% confident with this team. I'm just not. We have two power forwards coming off of our bench. It's just not handy. So, if we go Christian Woods with Jaden McDaniels, can't really even upgrade from there either because no one's on a very good deal like Christian Wood. Christian Wood's on a really, 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 really good deal. James Wiseman is on a $9 million deal. If we go like this, give me Willie Hernan Gomez, and I'll give you Reggie Bullock. You like what you have? What if I chucked in that Hornets pick and this Bulls pick and this Hawks pick? There we go. We've got James Wiseman to come off of our bench. I don't know if it's going to help us at all, but this is the last season. I think this is the best shot we've got. So we've got a Luka Doncic, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Chris Daps Pazingas, and Kyle Anthony Towns starting five. We've also got Lamelo Ball, Precious Achua, Jonathan Isaac, James Wiseman coming off of our bench. This team surely, right, will do really, really well, right? Surely. And still, we haven't done it Yet, we went 74 and 8. Luka wins MVP, you know, as Luka Doncic does every single season. Uh, but we definitely don't win an NBA. Uh, we don't win the 82 and 0 challenge. We do win a championship. <laughs> Timberwolves are the team that took us to the highest series. I don't understand how this team got beaten. But lads, that is going to do it for today's My League Rebuild. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to go down there, subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing. I post these My League videos twice a day, so if there's something... So if that's something that interests you, go down there, subscribe. That'll be absolutely amazing. Turn on the bell. Helps us out a whole bunch. But uh, yeah, that's really about it. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!